Okay. And then, um, and then, um, the upstairs swept and mopped. The kitchen, so the hall upstairs. upstairs, bathroom, my room, and then down here, and then her cage. Yeah. Okay. All right. So hold on. You want to be my channel tonight? All right, so the Red Sox won today, 11 to seven. Uh, Travis Shaw got called up from Pawtucket. Jonathan Arrow went to the minors, and Travis Shaw went four for four with two home runs to lead the Red Sox attack. Joe Kelly got shelled again, five innings, five runs. Thank you. 
I might have fucked up. I thought Xander Bogarts. <clears throat> Where's Bogarts? Let me see here. Sorry about this, guys. I could have sworn I had Bogarts in the lineup. So let's take a look. There's no way it's Rutledge in that short. There's no way. No way. Oh my god, if my phone would load. Here we go. Let's go to scores. Let's go to Red Sox game. Box score. And yeah, it's Bogart's not. What's his face? So I'm gonna pinch it for him immediately. Bogarts is entering with a 1 0 count. 0 1 count, I mean. Here's the first pitch. And it goes the other way. And this is in high and deep out 
one here. Thank you. 
I have an emergency. Can you help out? You break it up, dude. What's up? Can you hear me? That was better. Yeah, go ahead. All right, so I said I have an emergency. Can you help me out? Where? What's going on? I need wine, and I can't get to the store because I'm dealing with something at the house right now. Uh, text me. I don't care. You can get whatever. I need three bottles of wine. I don't care what it is. I don't care the brand. Just get me something that has a high alcoholic thing. Looks to me like somebody got sprayed by a skunk. No, it has nothing to do with that. I know. I'd say you need three bottles of wine. Don't care what brand. Red wine, Zinfandel, you don't care. You just need three bottles of wine. You got it with the high alcoholic uh, count. Okay. All right. When you come, I'll give write you a check for the wine and the uh, what I owe you anyway. One hundred and ten for the other. Right. Correct. Yeah. All right. I'll be there as soon as possible. All right. Thanks, man. No problem. Bye bye. Oh, my God. Swinging on the first. 
first pitch as he hits this one on the ground to second. And on one pitch, he's retired. Sander Bogarts will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Doggy do. Here, now the pitch. And a ball, one and oh. Here it comes. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but a foul ball, one and one. One one on the way. Now the shift won't matter here as this is skied out to center field. Ortiz is on his way to second. Well, the sun is definitely out, and it is a factor, but boy, that's a ball he should have had. You gotta shield that sun with your glove, use glasses, flip downs, anything, but you gotta catch that baseball. Kevin 
Kiermaier will dig in. He singled his first time around. You're in there, no balls and a strike. So now you got to regroup out the two out single. You're in a dangerous spot to line up, so it is not over yet, not by a long shot. He's set, now the pitch. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. A little oh bit off God. the outside, it's 1-2. and two. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty curveball. Here's another 1-2. And Step he lays two. off the pitch outside as they draw even at 2-2 two and two from the stretch. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Ray's strand just the one. They trail it here, two to nothing. Mike Napoli will lead things off here in the home half of the court. So what's uh, so the front upstairs is okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna do the bathroom. Just gonna do the bathroom. Yeah. yeah. My room's done. Yeah. And the kitchen's done. Yeah. All right. Good. Thank you. It's not 11 in a row, I just had, I reached on an arrow, man. Lifted 
down the line and right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. Another 0-2 coming. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. The next 0-2. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Well, he might have just said, look, you're going to have to take this one because you ain't fouling that one off. <laughs> and that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Now this is fouled straight back off the mask and the catcher in again as that gave him a pretty good jolt that time. The two-two one more time. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Now the pitch. Ball swung out and lifted in the air with some carry out towards left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. And with that, that'll push his hit streak to a modest six games. Brandon Geyer will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Winging a ball hit on the ground. But this is foul for the first strike. He's running towards second. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. And that'll be off the green monster in left. Round third and being waved on hold. And they're on the board as now it's a 2 one ball game. Morgan Forsythe will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Hit high and deep out to left field. I'm fucked. Wow, this inning turned around real quick. Pitchers have the right to work inside. 
This is in the air to center. Does he have another one, two, three for the ledger? He sure does. Make it 14 in a row set down now. Carving him up as the side is retired. Evan Longoria will lead things off as the Rays look to get something going in their half of the sixth. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Now here's the pitch. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stand. And the pitch. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. Now the pitch. And here's a slider strike three called, and that'll be the first down of the inning. Well, as we take a look at the pitches by any, that last one puts him at 91. So stamina will start to become a real factor here the further he goes along. Stephen Sousa will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. The 1-1. Ah, oh, he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect the plate. The pitch there on one, two is this is pulled down to third. Draw on to Napoli, takes care of him. Two away now. Here's a guy that needed a quick inning after giving up three runs the last time around. He's got the first two outs here. He's looking a lot more determined out there now. Kevin Kiermeyer will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. Uh, he had to be looking for something else to start the at bat. It's 0 1. He gained his starter creeping up on 100 pitches now, but that number alone doesn't appear to be affecting him too much at all. Yeah, he still looks sharp. Still, the way the teams handle pitchers nowadays, I don't think it'll wind up going much further. That's on the ground to short. This should end the inning. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Down in order to go the rain. They're up 3-2. to two. Sander Bogarts stand in for the third time now, still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on him. Action now in the Tampa Bay pen, as it looks like a right-hander's begun to get loose. Swing a hard hit ball to 
this half inning is decided for retirement. Red Sox get a run on the solo shot by the X-Man, Xander Bogart. The 6 7 8 hitter is coming up to start the seventh. We're tied now with three apiece. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. Tight one on our hands, all tied at three apiece as we look at the game summary through six innings of play. James Loney will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Junichi Tazawa will come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. Here's the pitch. Fouled straight back. One one. One one pitch in the slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. And now pitch on the way. And a good pitch in that slider as he sweeps through the roof first out of the inning. This is one of those guys that you can spend all of your time in video watching what his pitches look like, but until you get out there and see it firsthand, you just have no idea how much his stuff moves around. And now, Rene Rivera. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. That's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93, 94. That's plenty hard enough to blow up by guys when you need to. Here it comes. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Now, how important is it going to be for this guy to throw that curveball for strikes? I don't know that he necessarily needs to ever throw it for a strike. I mean, if it's around the plate and he's getting guys to go after it, it's doing its job. But if he starts to get too high or too far outside, then it's just an easy take. Swing the ball gets hard on the ground for a second. Ball on the net, and he takes care of it. Two away now. He really couldn't ask for much more out of a seventh inning guy. Come in, throwing a bunch of strikes, and he's got two quick outs to show for it here with the score still tied. Brendan Geyer will dig in now. One for two to this point. Now the first pitch is in the air out toward right field. And Castillo able to make the catch for the final out of the inning. Rays go in order. One, two, three. Score remains tied at three to three. Travis Shaw will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. Action in the Rays' pen now as they've got a lefty and a right-hander up in front. Here's the first offering. Taking the other way toward left center and fairly deep. Sousa will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Rusne Castillo will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Now the first pitch. Swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. One. one of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, watch the catcher's glove on some of these. And it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is.
Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I think that 12.5 is the highest uh, alcohol content I can find. That's fine, just grab it. What's that? Just, that's fine, just grab it. Yeah, I think that's the highest that I can find. Yeah, I'll be back in a second. Just grab it. Uh, yeah, three big, uh, three medium-sized bottles, I guess. All right, good, thanks. Thanks, I'll be there a little bit. All right. Here's the first pitch. First 
pitch here is another ground ball. This one over to third base on the first, and there were two down. Mike Napoli will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Yeah. Yeah, do you have a corkscrew? No. <laughs>
Alright guys, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, comment.